In this Star Wars Outlaws video, I will be interviewing the game's creative director, Julian Geraghty. He shares new details on cosmetics, random events in the open world, and even the possibility of a new Game Plus mode after launch. Thank you very much to Ubisoft for giving me this opportunity. I also want to note that the audio isn't great quality, so I do apologise for that. Before we do get into this interview though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Star Wars Outlaws videos. Now here is my conversation with Julian. As we know, space battles will have a role in the story yeah. and gameplay, and we'll have a chance to take out some very large targets during the game. Is that exclusive to the progression of the story, or is it possible to have repeat random encounters in the open world? Repeat random encounters and events and unique events in space are a part of the game. So even the open world exploration concept, that's part of the space part of the game. The really big target was saved for the end of the game, but there are several meaty, medium-sized targets. Are there areas that are unlocked through story progression or, or is everything open from the get-go? No, it's through story progression. So the way it works is that you start off in one place, Captain Vines, job goes wrong, you're catapulted in space with a very, very stolen ship, you crash land on Tashara, you finish the adventure on Tashara, which will uh, give you the taste of the open world, and then the galaxy opens yeah. up to you. And then it's all up to you where you go to, Kajuri, Akiva, Tatooine, up to you. The idea behind that is also to, to start you off in something extremely claustrophobic, closed in, slowly open it up. When you crash onto Shara, this, you know, speeder, and you get the speeder, you know, it's up and you have the open world's uh, experience. Then you have the open galaxy experience. So that was very, very intentional to make it something that opens up the way we get under is there a new game plus mode or how is post game handled if you can share? Yeah, uh, there is no new game plus mode. Um, I think it's an amazing idea. So it's maybe something that we're going to investigate post launch. Definitely something I hope is considered because I know the humor is that's something they really I, want to see. I super appreciate the feedback. It's, um, it's going to be on the list. Great. Thank you. Doesn't mean it'll be done because I don't make all the decisions mm -hmm. uh, i have many bosses but uh it's uh it's important to note that the community wants uh post campaign you'll have access to the entire open world uh, so any opportunities that you've missed or if you want to play with the reputation system afterwards that's completely open to you do you have a favorite random event that happens in the game world i think i'm partial to a ship crashing uh in the sky, you can see it like slowly fly through all uh, so trailer crashing in the distance and going up to that ship. And, and that is really an exceptional note uh, and really resonates with Star Wars as a whole. So, what sort of loot can you find? It, let's say if a ship crashes, I'm not going to support that for you. <laughs> Are there any other highlights of the random events in the game world uh, that you have? I think it all random events, including the ones in space, bring so much life to the moment in our week that... It's one thing I'm really looking yeah, forward to trying. It's, I mean, in space, mm -hmm. you'll come across a freighter that's going to be attacked by the pikes, and it's your sure call to help the pikes or to defend the freighter. Mm -hmm. And that's relationships or uh, re reputation uh, impact mm -hmm. uh, decision. But I love that type of that. Could you potentially, let's say you defended the freighter, yeah. could you then steal from that freighter in any way, or do something like a bit of piracy mm -hmm. that way? Uh, I don't know. I've never done it. I've been so role-playing it. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. There's nothing stopping you from doing it, but I don't know if there's any incentive to do it. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, I've never played it. I've never tried to break the system. <laughs> I know what kind of play <laughs> Not so much me, I just know a lot of the community, they're very much like, want to be a space pirate. Of course. They, they, want to, they want to be the bad guy a lot of the time, so. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if there's an incentive to do it. In different trailers, we see the trailblazer sport slightly different looks. For example, the engines look different. Is that purely cosmetic changes 
through development or is there physical cosmetic upgrades in the game such as the engines so one congrats for noticing that uh, i appreciate the uh, attention to detail there two uh it's probably a combination of both uh there are cosmetic i did notice so yeah i liked the trials we, we have so. that type of thing we we've got other customizations and there are, there's a progression track for the trailblazer too but you know from the first trailer to now there probably are some slight visual changes and even slight animation changes yeah. from how we we designed it first to now in the trailblazer we can go inside it when we've landed can we go inside it when it's in space no as for cosmetics what well, all of the ways on how you can unlock them wow okay so um you can i don't even know if i can tell you uh, but some of them i can tell you that some of the cosmetics are and they all have gameplay modifiers right some of the most desirable ones are going to be only available when you get to excellent relation uh, relationship reputation statements with the different criminal uh, syndicates so you're gonna have to push mm -hmm. at least once with each one i did notice i went yeah, into the yeah. menu just oh, okay. right at the end um so, i noticed i saw the uh hoff leah outfit um the crimson don't want yeah they, was, yeah. they all look great so yeah, they're, that, they're fantastic and they've got some of the best upgrades in the, in the game other ones you unlock by looking for key parts and, and basically crafting them and so also merchants as well merchants yeah. as well so there are lots of different ways do you have a favorite cosmetic good question um what is the best mix cosmetic and i think my favorite is the original k and i i like unlocking the others for the game purposes, but sticking with that iconic look i think for me that's k that's my case. So I don't need her like in another costume. This is how I want. That's how I've played like the other games I with Survivor. I stuck with Cal's space look. So so it's very difficult for me to to, to see my team playing with that. <laughs> uh, but I understand it. It's a little game, it's great, it's fantastic, but I, I like transmogging it. The freedom's there and you're always gonna get the extremes. Can you confirm if there are any Clone Wars era connections, references, uh, maybe T's, a few. So, Clone Wars era, everything is part of the fabric of what we've built. And we've got a huge uh, collaboration with Lucasfilm and huge fans on our side. I guarantee you there are connections. I can't tease, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you there are. There are connections that the... Uh, uh, Oh, high Republic. Yeah. So that the ship that you investigate, that's High Republic. So there are lots of different connections. Like, is control advice playing this game? Um, even on uh, say when you play on PC, and if so, why is that over mouse and keyboard? Uh, I've only ever played it with control, but I do know that mouse and keyboard is the preferred way of controlling for. People on the team. Mm -hmm. So it is supported. We're, we're passionate to see uh, gamers as well. So uh, I know that we're going to do a great job at supporting our social. Can you share any of the dual sense specific features? Uh, the game with the resistance. Adapted for this, uh, yeah. A lot in terms of tech and the tactile feedback. Um, and, uh, the sound is very important through the speed curve. So we're trying to get. Uh, a lot of inspiration fun. Some of the games do it extremely well. I think Leternal did a fantastic job. Uh, so that was one of our references. Um, when it comes to being wanted by the Empire and getting caught, um, what happens when you do um, get caught? Does it vary on the various levels? Yes, it does. Absolutely. And it gets more and more intense. Can you share the different dials e each one each one definitely not but uh, at the worst level you'll have death troopers sent. what happens when they do they kill you does it they try and kill you yeah it's uh, up to you to uh, out with them uh, do you get arrested or taken somewhere else? Do you, do, no i think you're going to be killed by okay the rest of, yeah I, I think that's the that's the ultimate aim there i'm just jumping in here to give some context to julian's next answer 
So a few weeks ago, there was another interview done with one of the other developers on the game. They talked about the ability to potentially co-own a moisture farm on Tatooine and earn some passive income, but I think the interviewer actually took the developer's words maybe too literal, and Julian goes on to say when I quizzed him about it that's that's not in the game, there isn't any passive income business side hustle sort of stuff happening within the game. mentioned in a previous interview that moisture farms um you can potentially co-own one to generate credits can you share any other ways of just being careful to sell that uh because if it's not that's not okay in the game. that was that wasn't it in, in recent here so okay it seems bizarre because there's so much uh else in the game that it's uh yeah it's weird that it's uh it's a feature that's pointed out so okay all right so i can definitely deny that you can own property Okay. So sorry to disappoint. You. That's not. I hope you liked the questions I asked and found Julian's answers insightful. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below your favourite part of the interview and what you discovered. And drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on Star Wars Outlaws. And if you did miss any of my previous videos with even more gameplay from the game, be sure to click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.